Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different, seeing as I do not have a book to review or a tag to do. That kind of rhymed. Anyway, here are a few things that have been on my mind. Number one, what's up with people using the term cray? I don't, I don't get it. Like, why are you dropping the Z? The Z is such an underused letter to begin with, and then you're completely dropping it? Besides, the Z gives the term crazy, it's pizzazz. You see, pizzazz wouldn't be pizzazz without the Z. The Z is what makes it snazzy. Number two, what's up with people using hashtags in everyday conversation? Like, I get the point of a hashtag is kind of to index things on the internet. So when people use hashtags on Twitter, or on Instagram, or on Facebook, or whatever, it makes sense. But when you're having a regular conversation with a regular person, I don't get the point of the hashtag. Although I will say that I have been guilty of saying like sad face or happy face, like emoticons in a regular conversation. So I guess I do weird things too. Number three, where did all of that keep calm stuff start? Like, I've been seeing it around for a while, and I never knew sort of the beginning of it all, and I mean, there's keep calm everything. My personal favorite is keep calm and don't blink. Of course, my personal favorite comes from Doctor Who, because I'm a bit obsessed. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to take a little bit of a break because that keep calm thing was really nagging me and I went ahead and wikipedia it because, well, Wikipedia has everything. Turns out that keep calm started from the whole keep calm and carry on, which I didn't know started back in the 1930s was like a whole propaganda poster telling people to literally keep calm and live their lives during World War II. That's actually kind of cool, but now it's morphed into this whole pop culture phenomenon. So yeah, those are the three things I don't really get. And on a different note, this is my 25th video. Yay me. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm coming up on 100 subscribers and I was wondering if anybody wanted me to host a giveaway because I know 100 subscribers is a pretty big deal. And it is a pretty big deal because 100 people like my channel. I'm still a few subscribers short though, so if anybody wants a giveaway or any type of giveaway ideas, please feel to share it. I'd also like to remind you guys that my Twitter and my Goodreads accounts are always linked down in the description box below so you guys can follow me on those social media platforms. And that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!